de mademoiselle et ça c'est deuxième Chanel ouais et aujourd'hui uh, nous allons parler de hoarding. Yes, I tried to look up what the translation of hoarding was in Creole and pas de une. Mais nous tout connaît qui ça hoarding est yeah. parce que parce que tout haïtien qui regarde des vidéos ça almost every Haitian watching this video especially if you're a grown moon is a hoarder. You guys are like qui ça ça veut dire Ivana? What's a hoarder? This right here. That is a hoard, ladies and gentlemen. Now, of course, a lot of you guys are not this extreme, but a lot of you guys collect a lot of crap over time that you don't need. It may be things that you're getting from your job, things that your friends are giving you or your significant other, your spouse are giving you, and you just want to collect all these things because you probably want to send them to Haiti pour faire boat, okay? And a lot of you guys watching this right now, you're probably like, yes, that's my mom, that's my aunt, that's my uncle, that's the... Bro, I'm making this for y'all, okay? I'm making this for y'all. And get them when you've got the video, so you call them, you call them too bien because I came down y'all next not too long ago about having a whole bunch of shit in your house that you need to clean the fuck up. Okay, so for my millennials, for my Gen Z, my Gen X, my Gen Y, my my Gen whatever the hell is watching this, this is for you. For those of you guys who are struggling to get your parents or your other family members to clean the hell up, to send that boat to IET, or literally to get their life together and stop bringing a whole bunch of caca in the house, nula. Let's get it started. But of course, before we get started, make sure you guys smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, smash every button you know that can help a sister out. Messi on pile for 45,000 subscribers on this channel. Love to get to 50k. Let's get it there. If you guys consistently miss my face, I have two other channels that I manage. My main channel deals with black social issues, rants, reactions, and commentary. And my other channel, which is my personal channel, I vlogs, advice videos, and other things personal. Also, I am coming out with music. I know you guys heard it in the intro or whatever. Stay tuned for that. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that shit. MySpace. Okay, parce que la ma la musique là avant. So make sure you guys stay tuned for all of that. Pour tout monde qui bien fait YouTube, if you guys really want to be YouTubers, I do have a webinar that is coming up where you guys can learn to make thumbnails. I'm going to be teaching you guys step by step how to make amazing thumbnails for YouTube. So make sure you guys go sign up for that. Everything you need is going to be linked down below. So hoarding, okay? Hoarding, hoarding, hoarding. So let's just start from the beginning now shall we my mother works in a hotel so lots of times people leave her tips but there's some times where a lot of people can't leave her tips so they leave her possessions instead they will leave her shoes clothes items such as pots phones airpods yo i literally had like five pairs of ipods at one point ipod i had literally five pairs of airpods at one point because instead of giving a tip they just gave my mother airpods pretty damn cool right but sometimes my mother comes home with the most ridiculous things that doesn't make sense. I'm talking about literally recently I just bought her a brand new state of the art microwave from Target when she moved into her brand new apartment but since they were giving away microwaves and mini fridges at her job because they literally are remodeling she thought it made sense to bring a microwave and a mini fridge. And mind you my parents apartment this new apartment is small. I downsized them because if you guys are not aware I talked about this on my personal channel you guys can feel free to go watch it. I might link it down below. Hopefully I remember if I forget please remind me I cleaned out my parents past apartment moved them I got movers and everything I took out at least and I'm not over exaggerating 50 bags of garbage things that I have not seen since I was maybe five years old and it was just junk clothes plates utensils like just old garbage things that it's just like why do you have this and most importantly do you clean roaches baby rats that just been born in kitchen cabinets just disgusting dirty redam ridiculous and I do not want this new apartment to end up the same so when my mother had the nerve gall audacity to think that she about to bring a second fridge here in another microwave I just about lost it and she's constantly bringing new things but the thing is with my mom she brings little stuff you know like it'll be pens little trinkets like a whole box of plates a whole box of, of teacups and it's like what are you going to do with this stuff and of course she hits me with the oh my boy like I'm gonna send it to Haiti. Don't worry. We're sending it to Haiti. First of all, if you're using that excuse right now in 2023, borders are closed. 
ou pas voye pièce bagaille you're not sending shit to Haiti so kill that noise shut the fuck up and if you are going to use the excuse of you're sending things to Haiti actually send the shit to Haiti within a month don't sit there fait boîte là qui te boîte là dans coin and then you got rats and roaches climbing in these boxes okay you have these boxes sitting in your kids room and your kids don't have space to play you have these boxes sitting all over the house making you like a fucking cuckoo crazy nuts person and you're sitting there like oh one bag I don't have any space to send the boxes then don't fucking make the box and you guys have the nerve goal audacity to be trying to bring people to America when you ain't got no money you ain't got no money to send a box but you have money to bring people here to feed them to clothe them and then you have the time to find them the logic makes no sense here send the block first then we'll talk I can't it gets worse see my mom if I had to diagnose her I would say she she probably like a category one hoarder because for her it's not that bad because she only brings like little things and if she sees like a really big like item or if it's something like oh it's a big deal she can't pass it up she will take it and she just takes things with the intent oh, oh I'm my boy laity or oh let me get China I refuse to get my mom a China after the nastiness that I saw in the last apartment the China that my mom had in the last apartment was just disturbing it was disgusting I thought she was gonna make it look beautiful and look nice because every Haitian house needs a China okay every Haitian watching this has a China in their house my mom had a junk China it was disturbing going through that China and most importantly it was very difficult for them to move it so we couldn't even move it like literally the management of the building had to move to China but it was just disturbing it just was full of junk like I was saying right my mother got that fridge she got that microwave but not only that she had the nerve gall audacity to get my best friend's mother on board and I know she's probably watching this video hi how you doing Come we in yeah I know you're probably watching this because you next. So my best friend called me, right? Upset. And I'm confused. She's upset. She's like, yo, I'm so mad right now. Your mom is pissing me off. And I'm like, my mom is pissing you off? Why are you with my mom? You know, your mom's job is giving away free fridges and, and microwaves. Now, mind you, I didn't know nothing about that. So my mom is smart enough not to tell me because she know I'm about to tweak on her. I told my mother, stop bringing crap to the house. Stop bringing things that you're not going to use to the house. Like, it's to the point where, like, my mother will bring lube. Y'all know what lube is. Like I put <laughs> Ivana Sasaye. Like she just brings it home because she thinks that she'll need it. She thinks she could use it. So she'd be like, oh Ivana Ki Sasaye. Oh, what what is this for? And I'm like, don't worry about it. And then I just throw it out. Like she just brings things home. So she's like, oh well, my mom and your mom are out here trying to squeeze too many fridges and two microwaves in the back of my car. I said, excuse me? She said, yeah, they're trying to squeeze too many fridges and two microwaves in the back of my car. So I I'm sitting here and I'm just thinking to myself, say no, why are you letting them squeeze these things in the back of your car they're not letting up they want to put it in the car i'm so upset i have high blood pressure i don't want to like go off on them because if i go off on them they're gonna start crying like i'm so fucking upset and it was to the point where i guess all of it was happening so fast it's like i was close but i wasn't like that close i was like bro i will pull up right now tell them ain't nobody taking shit they take the shit anyway my best friend's house is already charge avec grimace okay my best friend's mom has an issue okay now when it comes to hoarding her shit is up there it's bad like the house is bad it's it's all over the place. There's shit all over the place. She's been collecting things forever, of course, to send to Haiti, okay? With the intent to send to Haiti. And this is absolutely a problem because it's like, if you keep just racking things up, racking things up, racking things up, when are you ever gonna send it? Because I've seen so many people have this mindset and it never really occurred to me until literally this past month. I was like, yo, a lot of Haitians that I know are hoarders. Um, A lot of my friends' moms, a lot of family members I have, like, you guys are like actual hoarders. Like, you guys, have so much crap just piled up in your houses like all over the floor and you guys think this is normal because oh i'm gonna send it to haiti but then it's to the point where yo i've had like two graduations and haiti never came bro like the box was never made like did you ever have the intentions of sending this shit to haiti then you have my godmother another one that's probably watching this hello hello bonsoir Comment we you? can't even see the floor the shit that you see in hoarders yeah except maybe Maybe the junk is probably up to your knees. I'm 4'11 though, so my knees are pretty close to the ground, okay? So for me, let me give you a little bit of a
okay? I knew she had a problem since I was a kid. And this is the thing that makes me confused because I'm like, did I just grow up with people hoarding things to the point where I just ignored all of this shit? Because I'm like, my best friend's been my best friend since I was like, what, 11, 12? Why did I not notice that she consistently had so much shit? And my best friend is opening up to me and she's like, yeah, she did this in this apartment, that apartment, that apartment. And I'm like, was it really that bad that I didn't notice this? She's like, shorty, it was that fucking bad. Like, I don't know how you didn't peep that shit. And I'm like, bro, I think I was just ignoring it. Like, I think like for me, it was normal because I started thinking about everybody else's house that I've been in and I'm like, bro, everybody I know is practically hoarding. Like every Haitian mother that I know almost, okay, it's not all. Almost every Haitian mother that I know hoards a whole bunch of shit and their justification is, oh, my boy, like E.T. Oh, I'm gonna send it to Haiti. It's going to Haiti, don't worry. And they just use that excuse to buy, 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 spend, spend, spend. And it's like, yo, and I had to sit back and think and I'm like, yo, this house looks worse and worse every time I come and plus I'm not judgmental. I'm not the type of person to go to somebody's house and be like, ooh, like, oh my God, like why are roaches coming out of that box? Well, clearly because there's a whole bunch of food in there that's going to Haiti. That shit's been going to Haiti for five years. I'm not the type of person to sit there and be like, oh, ooh, why is there so much junk? Why can't I see the floor? I, I just I just go about my business. I go to my friend's room. You know, so I'm just like, yo, this shit's crazy. This shit is really crazy. My godmother. Went to visit her a couple years ago. If you guys are not aware, I have anxiety. Bipolar, ADHD connected to bipolar disorder, PTSD, things like that, right? My anxiety gets triggered by anything, but apparently being in cluttered spaces is one. I didn't know until a couple years ago. Now, my mom and my best friend's mom, it's not that bad. You could still see the floor, you know, kind of navigate Kailai, like it's not that bad. It's just junk, like under stuff. Like I'm talking about like under dining tables, like junk. Even my mom, it's not that bad. Like the junk is concealed, like in bins, in closets. It's livable junk. My godmother has a fucking problem. I go to visit her a couple years ago. Immediately, my anxiety said, fuck it. <laughs> Get the hell out. You cannot see the floor. It's junk. And it's not even like dirty junk. She a different type of hoarder. She likes to shop, okay? And she's had this issue for as long as I can remember. She likes to buy things. She likes to, and nice things, okay? Like I'm talking about designer, okay? Like, see like this polo, like, yeah. She buying like this type of shit and up, okay? She buying polo, she buying Michael Kors. She's buying like, not Balenciaga. That's a little too expensive. She was the one, I remember my first designer bag was from her and it was a Prada bag. Like she's buying expensive things or I guess low end expensive like okay she'll do calvin klein coach even though people say coach is not expensive yes it is you ever been to a real coach store not a coach outlet real coach she hoarding expensive shit okay not only that appliances guys i'm talking about ninja bullets i'm talking about air fryer here air fryer there why do you need two air fryers <laughs> you know it's just like bro i i could not stay in there for more than 30 minutes i could not stay in there for more than 30 minutes it was just junk so when are you getting rid of all this stuff she's like what stuff and i'm like come on now now her logic is it's not a lot of shit and her logic is also her kids won't help her my cousins won't help her clean so that's why her house looks like that and I, i'm not about to go down that rabbit hole because i feel like a lot of haitians you guys think that your kids are entitled to help you your kids are entitled to give you their lives and do everything for you but this is not why you have kids you have kids because you want to have kids and it is your job to help them be functioning human beings in society they don't owe you fucking jack squat point blank period that's not the point i need y'all to stop that y'all need to get this shit out of your head and this goes for everybody stop having kids and expecting them to do things for you you're not here to have kids to be your donkeys it's one thing to ask them to help nicely it's one thing to you know hey can you help me do this but like bro she be on some oh well you guys don't help me so i'm not gonna do anything okay so live in filth then <laughs> like what are you talking about so it, you know i thought that was just like a temporary everything but apparently like I came back again it was the same way then it gets worse she buys a house across the street don't ask it, it's a whole thing long story short the landlord didn't pay taxes on the house so essentially the state gave her that house but the house is practically condemned so she has to get the house fixed in order for someone else to live in it so she wants to use it as a rental property but how are you gonna have a rental property when you're essentially a hoarder and you need to clean all that shit out I'm just gonna leave the story there because it goes a lot deeper than that and I'm not gonna tell all her business but let's just say a lot of that junk is still there and she's already starting a horde in the second house so i say all of this to say one we're not judging anyone i'm just trying to get you guys to understand the full picture here right and some of you guys may be looking at this and you're like well maybe my mom or my aunt or whatever is not a hoarder you know i don't see anything in the house do they have a shed that's full of shit that they don't fucking use do they have a basement that's full of shit that they don't fucking use do they continuously sit here and buy things buy things buy things just for like some sort of social or emotional gratification do they sit here and like try to be like oh well, i'm I'm gonna send it to Haiti even if it's not hoarding necessarily just the fact that they're sitting here buying 
spending and spending on unnecessary things is a problem within itself especially if it's making you uncomfortable to the point where it's taking up your living space even if it's in the basement that basement could be redone and used as extra rooms to bringing these people that you want to bring in so desperately that shed could be also used as storage space okay because i've seen a couple people that have like really nice houses and you're like you would never know that they have a buying problem a spending problem or a hoarding problem then you go in the shed and it's like yeah and there's a difference between using a, st a shed as storage and using the shed to, to hide a problem like because i've seen some sheds i'm like bro this shit is not normal bro like there's probably a dead animal in there there's shit that's just not normal i've noticed that by watching hoarders and then like observing the people that i know the reason that i probably didn't notice that these people were hoarding was that i didn't see it as what we saw right like when you watch the show hoarders and you see like the way haitians or other foreign people hoard clearly it, it's not the same like clearly usually it's not that bad or if it is that bad the reasons that they give for people hoarding in the hoarding shows are usually completely different right like there was this other lady that i used to know that was a hoarder like times 10 she would always go to the thrift store like she would go there every day that they had the discount sales and she would just rack up and she would just buy shit that didn't even make sense she would just buy and buy and buy and buy we used to see her all the time on her way there on her way back me and my mom used to see her all the time and i didn't know she was hoarding until one day i walked in her house because i needed to i think i was was i tutoring one of her kids i don't remember what it was i went in her house or something and that shit looked like the hoarder houses that you see on tv i was just like interesting and when you look at her from the outside you know i would have never thought you know so again when you you look at the people on those shows you know usually they, they go through a really great loss right like somebody died or you know someone left me went through a divorce um something drastic or it might be some other type of mental issue depression anxiety something it, it's usually something like that but when i look at these haitian people i'm like I, I don't see it but we have to also remember haitian in the haitian community mental illness is heavily stigmatized so these people are never going to go to no damn therapist that's going to tell them I'm like you have this you have that you're struggling with this that's why you're doing that my last therapist session i actually asked my therapist i was like yo why are haitians hoarding like why do haitians hoard like i explained all of this everything i'm explaining to you guys i explained to my therapist and basically i was like so why do foreign people hoard um so my therapist is actually of hispanic descent and she was like oh my god yeah like i had to deal with the same thing it was so funny we were talking about it and she said to be honest when it comes to foreign people especially if we're talking about like haitians who a lot of times come from impoverished communities and impoverished States. when they come to america or any place that has you know significantly more than they had they tend to hold on to more you know they want to hold on to whatever it is that they get so it's kind of like a, a dopamine hit when they get something especially if it's for free so if they're getting it for free or if they can get something and hold on to it and they didn't have to pay for it and they see it as a deal whether it's cheap or whatever the case may be they're like oh gotta keep it because i'll probably never get it again oh well even though i don't need it i don't need it today i might need it tomorrow and i was like that actually makes a thousand percent more sense like it makes 100 percent more sense now because i i couldn't understand like, i couldn't put the people that i've seen growing up with the people that i'm looking at on tv i'm like even though i'm very sure they more than likely have the same sets of issues that the people on the hoarder show have i really do think it has a lot to do with haitians not having much growing up in haiti right a lot of them had to eat more at a certain time in order to offset the fact that they didn't know where their next meals were right a lot of them probably didn't get meals for days on end they didn't know where their clothes would be coming from they didn't have job security education security whatever the case may be they didn't have anything to look forward to unless it was given to them so when something is given to them for free they're like oh my god i gotta hold on to this because i don't know when the next one's gonna come or oh my god i'll hold on to this because it was free it's a deal i don't need it now but i may need it later that's the best way for me to explain it and the best way for me to understand it and not get mad when my mother sits there and picks up a free fucking microwave and a free mini fridge but it still does genuinely piss me off and i know for a lot of you guys who have parents that are doing the same fucking shit you guys are probably sitting here like yeah no i'm still mad that my mom has all these bots sitting in the corner all these boxes sitting in a corner that need to be sent sadly nothing could be sent to haiti as of this moment that i'm making this video it is february 1st 2023 but i would suggest that they have been sitting there for a very long time you open them back up see what's good and rebox them up because that's what i had to do um when my parents were moving and there was like rats that ate through the stuff it was just guys it was really really bad so it's like i suggest for those of you guys who are going through something similar 
controller you rebox the stuff you actually look through the stuff make sure that it's actually still good and actually send them and actually help you know help don't just bitch cry and complain help them uh as hard as it may be because we even watch hoarders you see how these people's families be going at them cursing them out going off and it's hard not to because for us we're just like what the fuck is wrong with you you don't need all this shit but for them they do have a genuine attachment to these things either it brings them comfort to be surrounded by these things or it brings them comfort that they got that deal so try to be nice i'm not even looking at the camera saying that but it's like because even myself i struggle uh with that because it's just like you don't need this shit like i literally had to help my best friend with her mom clean up because her mom was getting irate and was trying to fight and we was just like listen you want to tussle you want to tussle <laughs> like it, cause it got to a point where like yeah too many things got involved so it's like best to help it's best to clean and hopefully it doesn't happen again that's how you know if your 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 parent or your loved one or whatever is a hoarder because if you clean it all up and they do that shit again you might have to actually go get some legitimate help at that point because mm -mm, my mom hasn't really done anything she's actually been cleaning she's fine that's why i'm like if, she, if my mom's like actually a hoarder she's definitely on some category one <laughs> like because she I, she still be sitting there bringing stupid shit home and i'll be like garbage garbage i just be sitting there throwing shit out garbage you don't need it garbage she be mad like where's my this and i'm like bitch i don't know garbage but it's like it's not as bad as it was before you know i have one friend who literally had a had a stepmom that was a hoarder and they cleaned it all up got right back the way it was, was within a month i don't know how she did that that had to be a record that had to be a record you know and they really had to go get her some help so with that being said comment down below do you know a hoarder have you had to deal with anything like this i'd love to hear your stories down below try to have some compassion even though i'm struggling to have some myself don't be like honey because i just be getting mad and i try to understand but it's just like it is very very difficult with that being said make sure you guys like share subscribe do all that join the patreon and just peek the description for everything that you guys consistently ask me about down below make sure you guys like share subscribe and do all that and i'm gonna see y'all next time bye